Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back. Glad to have you with us today for another reaction video. Your favorite reaction channel, of course. And you're already subscribed, so I don't have to tell you to subscribe. <laughs> right? Right. All right. I'm Phil. I'm Sam. And together, we're Bars and Barbells. And uh, we've been hitting the comedy scene pretty hard. We got a yeah. lot of comedy videos, and I can't say that they've been letting us down very no. often. Uh, it's been no, really great to 99% Dave hilarious. Chappelle, Ricky Gervais, Patrice O'Neill, Bill Burr, George Carlin. George Carlin. Yeah, so we're getting into Ice it. Ice Cube. Yeah, Kevin we did Hart. Kevin Hart as well. Not a whole lot of Ke Ice Cube, Kevin Hart. We just did the one video, I think, so far. Um, there's other artists as well, that we, or comedians that we got to get into. But nonetheless, we've been having a great time doing the stand-up comedy. I think you guys have been enjoying it too, yeah. because you get, keep showing up and giving us great engagement yeah. on those videos, which Thank we so much, very much appreciate, and uh, really does incentivize us to want to keep doing it, because if we're enjoying it, and you're enjoying it, then why wouldn't we keep doing it? <laughs> and uh, so yeah, that's, that's why we are where we are today, with Bill Burr, Black Friends, Clothes, and Harlem. <laughs> we'll see where this goes. <laughs> And uh, this was a recommendation from you guys in the comments, yeah. which have always been fire. Well, not always. Sometimes they can be a little bit over the top, we'll say. <laughs> and, uh, you know, not on any of the comedy videos. You guys have been pretty good on that. Yeah, yeah. Some of the other ones, you know, people, why are you doing this? Why are you doing that? They're Don't do this. Don't do that. about their opinion. <laughs> I know. It's, it's all good, guys, because uh, some of it's helped us progress the channel forward. So, For sure. you know, as they say, um, sometimes criticism is a good thing. So... That said, though, you guys have really enjoyed the comedy stuff, really enjoyed Bill Burr alongside with us and those I've suggests. really enjoyed the comedy stuff. So. Have you? I have. Oh, and what, do you have a favorite thus far? Uh, Not to put you on the spot. That's kind of like a hard Like a favorite question. video or a favorite person? Um, yeah, if you had to pick a video. One video. Because we've done hard. a lot, so. Yeah, it's too hard. It's I too hard? I think I, I mean, we've done the most of Bill Burr. Okay, off the top of your head, just name one video, the first video that comes to your head, which you really enjoyed. That was with me, Fat People in McDonald's. Fat People in McDonald's. See how, this is how you do things with women, guys. <laughs> but that being said, I also really like the George Carlin Seven Dirty Words. I thought that was really and funny. And this is, yeah, this really is also too, what they do, so. is they just add in something else. Say, and but. I really like Patrice O'Neill, the first one that we did, so... <laughs> So, there's my so, top three in there. Done the three guys. And McDonald's. You guys heard it first, right? And I really enjoyed that one as well. So, yeah. um, so anyways, enough with the chit chat. Let's get into some Bill Burr. Let's have some laughs and uh, enjoy another reaction video. And just remember, guys, hit that like button, comment, and subscribe if you do enjoy and want to continue on this journey with us. All right, you ready? I'm ready. All right, let's go. Actually, I got a couple of uh, friends of uh, African persuasion. And, uh, <laughs> I gotta get rid of them, man. I gotta admit to you. I'm fine. I'm spending too much money on clothes, hanging out with them, because I gotta like fucking try to keep up with their wardrobe. It's like every time they go out, they got all brand new shit on. <laughs> all brand new shit. So when I show up with my white version of brand new, which is you know, I basically I iron the shit, right? <laughs> I iron it, right? It's new. They just start trashing me. I can't keep up with them, man. They got like fucking 58 pairs of sneakers. <laughs> Ever notice that shit? Like every color fucking Timberland. <laughs> I don't give a shit what fucked up color their shirt is. They got a pair of shoes to match it and a hat. <laughs> it's like a rule or something. They're the worst. Even when you wear some new shit, there's like some sort of rule that you gotta like space out the amount of time with, within which like that you wear it. Because God forbid you wear the same shirt within a 10-day period, one of them's going to notice. <laughs> so all of a sudden just look at you funny like, this motherfucker's got the same shit he had on last Tuesday. <laughs> and then the whole car's like, oh, shit! <laughs> then everybody just starts making fun of your fucking clothes. First they do the math, like, what was that, five days ago? Five days, this motherfucker got five shirts. <laughs> he got five shirts. <laughs> They start breaking it down. Yo, his first shirt be saying Monday. Next shit be saying Tuesday. Yo, on the weekend, he ain't be wearing no shirt. <laughs> I'll tell you, it's actually funny. You know what? That's actually how, uh, how I judge black guys now. When I first came to the city, like, all black people scared me. No, I was like the typical white dude from, like, the suburbs. You know what I mean? I had no frame of reference, you know? So my only frame of reference with black people was, like, the, remember those 
early 90s gangster rap videos. Throw the fucking LA riots in there, man. It was fucking horrible PR. <laughs> I'm watching the videos, so he's got nice cars. Look at the balls of Bill Burr. Like, I know. <laughs> you know, like, can you imagine somebody saying, well, I guess he does say similar stuff nowadays, but like, yeah. I could just only imagine how people would be losing their mind yeah. if some comedian, white comedian came on and started talking like this about, you know, black people that he knows and like basically being like, yeah, I was scared. <laughs> like, it's all like, black people. <laughs> yeah. Like, like I, and I have no issue with it because clearly he's, he's just joking, but I'm yeah. just saying from the standpoint of Bill. Like, this is just who he is. Yeah, right? yeah, he just, oh, yeah. He just doesn't give any Fs. No. And he's like, stop being so uptight yeah. and relax, and we're going to have a conversation Literally. about this, and it's going to be funny. Just making a joke. I love it. Those early 90s gangster rap videos. Throw the fucking L.A. riots in there, man. It was fucking horrible PR. <laughs> I'm watching the videos. So he's got nice car. He's got all the women, and he's still fucking mad. <laughs> <laughs> I'm never happy. But after 10 years, I'm hoping to see this is how I narrow it down. When the black dude scares me. Now, black dudes with dirty sneakers scare the fucking shit out of me. <laughs> no. I figured out in my head, because I know from hanging out with them, that's the last shit that they're going to let go, the immediate shit that they have on. So I think, you know, if his sneakers are fucked up, that means his life is fucked up. <laughs> Every time he leaves his building, the whole neighborhood, oh, shit! <laughs> Everyone starts making fun of him. He's on the train in a bad mood. I kind of have this howdy doody, kind of mug me kind of face. <laughs> now, I'm not saying something's gonna happen, I'm just saying, I'm paying attention. <laughs> so I've been seeing this girl recently, uh, this black girl, right? She lives up in Harlem, you know? Gone out like three, four times, you know? First time we hung out, we hung out in like the village area in New York, you know, which is sort of like a racially mixed area. <laughs> so shit was cool, you know what I mean? S second time we hung out was more like midtown, you know? Then the third time, she called me at like 3.30 in the morning and she wanted me to come up to her apartment, right? So it's 3.30 in the morning, she lives in Harlem, I look how I look, so it's a fucking situation. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, cause you know the deal, right? Basically a white dude feels comfortable up to about like 98th, 99th street, you know what I'm saying? The second the streets start getting into like triple digits, like 100, 101st street, start getting like a little asthma, like, ah, oh, fuck, we're starting to get a little high up here. <laughs> you feel that little tightness in your chest? Can you feel that? 106th street, you're like leaning on shit, like, dude, where'd all the cabs go? How come there's no taxis up here? <laughs> dude, what's a bodega? <laughs> I don't know what that is, let's get, let's get the fuck out of here. So I'm praying to God she's gonna tell me to take the subway, get off at like 105th Street, 103rd, you know, which is like the first stop in Harlem where I can still look over my shoulder and see like all the white people like disappearing over the horizon, you know? <laughs> she goes, no man, you wanna get on the Uptown 2-3 train, you wanna get off at 125th Street. I'm like, ah, fuck, 125th Street. <laughs> Jesus Christ, that's like right in the middle of everything. I'm gonna be surrounded on all four sides, I can't fucking do this. <laughs> So, at this point, I'm really trying to hide like the bitchy tone that's starting to creep into my voice, you know? And I'm trying to ask for really specific directions for when I get up there, because I want to know exactly where I'm going. So she starts naming the streets I have to go down, and every other street up there is named after like a black leader, you know? And she's like, make a left on Adam Clayton, take a right on Frederick <laughs> Douglass, I'm like, ah, fuck Adam Clayton. <laughs> Yo, dude, go on the internet, look up Adam Clayton. Did he kill a bunch of white people during a slave revolt? <laughs> Dude, I ain't going up there till I know what Adam playing to fuck this shit. <laughs> so at this point, I'm really having a battle with myself. Because I'm thinking I can't do this, right? I'm like, I can't do this, but my dick's going, no, come on, man, we can do this, <laughs> right? Just relax. Pull yourself together and get on the goddamn train, right? So as always, I listen to my dick. <laughs> oh yeah, I get on the train. By the time I get up there, it's like five or four in the morning, right? I'm staying on like Malcolm X and like Danny Glover or some shit. Right? <laughs> I don't even know where the hell I'm at. But I see the street I wanna go up. I wanna go up St. Nick. I can literally see her apartment building, but there's like five or six black dudes standing right on the corner, right where I wanna walk by. So I'm like, fuck! <laughs> 
Sherlock was on like some reality show at that point, like some sort of like white guy survivor. It was ridiculous. <laughs> so I'm thinking I gotta walk right by these guys, right? You know what's funny? I think that they were actually more surprised to see me than I was scared, you know? And I was really, really scared, you know? But I'm also really, really white, you know? Like shockingly Caucasian. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like if you're not ready for me, I can like surprise you. No, especially if you live up there. You've probably seen a white person for hours, possibly days. So when I show up, it's almost like magical. Like a leprechaun came out of nowhere, you know? I felt like I should have like a little pot of gold, like a rainbow behind me. Top of the morning to you, like. <laughs> kind of dance my way past them. But it's been going all right, you know? Once I get in her apartment, I'm fine, you know? I relax. Sit down, you know, watch a hip-hop countdown. <laughs> <laughs> Pretend like I know the groups, you know what I mean? <laughs> it's just getting there that's a fucking pain in the ass. But you know, I don't get mad at it, because I figure, you know, black dudes gotta go through the same shit though, right? When you go out to the suburbs, go fuck a white girl, right? <laughs> it's that same awful feeling of just leaving your people behind, you know, just less and less of you as you're fucking driving out there. Puppy start off lean and you're all fucking cool. 20 minutes in, you're driving like 10 and 2, the radio's off. Like, dude, I don't like this shit. I don't like this shit at all. There's too much grass, I don't see any rims. <laughs> fucked up. None of the windows are tinted. I can clearly see white people in every car. This is fucked up. <laughs> Listen, you guys were awesome. Thank you so much for coming out. Oh my God. <laughs> Bill, Billy Boy, not uh, worried about pushing those boundaries no. and did it quite well. Did it say. again. Did a quite quite a good job. It uh, as he always does, talking about something that would probably be a little touchier of a subject, but just making it funny and yeah. Um, I thought it was good. I enjoyed that one. Um, yeah, definitely got some laughs in there. I don't know if it was my favorite one of his. I, I think like I've like you said the. Uh, fat people in McDonald's one was pretty the funny. Of gold yeah, that one was pretty funny. Ladies, um, I thought this one was good, but I don't know if I put it up there as my favorite. But it yeah. also looks like a little bit earlier from him. Yeah, he has it, hair, it, so yeah. it's timeline. Yeah. And uh, I don't. I wonder if he's talking about his wife. That yeah, he, maybe. <laughs> he was dating at the time, that. or uh, yeah. you know, if that turned out to be his wife. Um, but uh, anyways, you liked it? Yeah, I thought it was funny. Like I said, it, it, I probably wouldn't say that it was my favorite one if I had to rate them, but I was obviously laughing. Like, I thought it was funny. So. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed our reaction. That was Bill Burr, Black Friends, Clothes, and Harlem. <laughs> quite the trip that he had <laughs> and uh, hopefully you uh, enjoyed the trip that we had on this reaction video yes. as well if you did you know what to do hit that like button leave us a comment and uh, hit us with more suggestions because they've all been fire I know that you guys have been mentioning uh, the Philly rant as well from him we've kind of been building towards that haven't gotten there yet I think uh, we might be ready for that soon though and uh, that's one you guys have been saying that we have to do so maybe we'll take that step next and hit on Bill Burr of the Philly rant but anyways, that's it from us today, guys. Hopefully you come back soon and uh, subscribe, check out our other videos, all that good stuff. And that's it for us today. Thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you in the next one. Take care.